Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and in this quick video I just wanted to show you a little bit of the scene that I created. Uh, partnered up with uh, Pixel Squad to create one of his uh, amazing illustrations. So big shout out to Pixel Squad. So make sure you follow him. In this scene, yeah, I rendered everything in EV and uh, make sure that uh, the transparency is enabled and I'm usually using the regular um, color profile for the scene. And as you can see, I built the character and animated them already. Um, and I uh, just wanted to go over the settings really quick. So I gave him a texture that I painted on. The raccoon has the, the black eyes and all that. So I painted all these things on. The belly, the lighter parts of the raccoon texture. Same with the duck, by the way. Uh, painted the duck as well. And then I got two light sources. Uh, one is actually lighting everything, and then the other one is lit is um, just connected to the background, the golden background. So that one is lit uh, accordingly as well. For the shading, I used I personally just used um, Double Gums Kamikaze add-on, um, but you can easily make a simple comic shader or um, that you can find. There's tutorials on that online on YouTube. It's very easy, um, I wanted to save time, so I just plugged in my texture that I created, as I said earlier, and uh, plugged that in the, the middle uh, and shadow colors, and then the highlights I had separated. And then I also used an outline shader, um, there's also tutorials on that as well, on YouTube, but just to give it a little bit more like a comic and drawn look, um, I used the outline shader. And you can also just use a uh, grease pencil for that. When it comes to the compositing, I uh, separated out the background. That's why the transparency is so important. So you can just give it whatever color you want in compositing. And I use the filter, uh, diamond sharpen, and then added a glare node used another diamond sharpen and then had two Kuavahara notes. Uh, you can see the settings here, but one is a little bit more detailed than the other one. And then I mix them and then add another diamond sharpen filter. Uh, and then lastly, I got a free texture from Adobe uh, that is for free, uh, like a paper texture. And I plugged that in, I just dragged and dropped it in, uh, used the color ramp to it a little bit better and then mix it in. And then lastly, I did a lens distortion very slightly just to blend things a little bit more. And there it is. That's basically for the compositing. Uh, I just want to go over the background really quick what I did with that. It's basically just a simple plane. I added uh, the displacement so it's slightly, the edges are less perfect and then you can download the brush flow tools for free and you have to unwrap the background i just uh, unwrapped it for myself for a smart smart or uh, from view project from view and then you just add click fill and then draw on at one time to get that flow going in the direction that you want and add the color and these are my settings, so you can either copy them or do something for yourself with it. But thanks for watching, I uh, enjoyed making this video and there's more like this in the future as I really like the style. So stay tuned, subscribe, help us out, I appreciate you all and I see you next time.